Hello, my name is Mordred Viking, and I'd like to welcome you to episode 27 of this Let's Play, Hearts of Iron 4. This is Germany, the army with a stake in the Kaiserreich... Army with a state, not with a stake, <laughs> in the Kaiserreich mod. Okay, so what is going on right now? Well, we are progressing through the invasion of the Soviet Union. Pretty well, actually. Um, you guys probably need another order relatively soon. So let's tell you to advance to the Urals. Uh, no, I don't like that. I'm going to say advance into the Urals. So that we can actually hold that lovely little mountain range. And by little, I mean massive. Alright, onwards. So we are pressing into the Soviet Union really quite nicely. The Turkestan Khanate has just declared war on us, which is a little bit concerning. Although I have just noticed that... Who's this? Persia? Probably Persia. Has sent me some free troops. Um, I'm going to give you a new army. I'm going to tell you to fortify... Am I going to do this? No, I'm not going to do this. This is silly. I'm just going to add you to the garrison units. That is where my auxiliary troops go. Now, what I could do is reassign the yellow guys down here. Because we have the marines active in this area, too. Do we really need both of these, especially now that we're linking up with the tanks? I don't think we do. So let's shift the... Where the most rivers probably is actually over there. So we're going to shift the yellows from their current position over here to Turkestan. Then you can hit up through the center of this. And attack up to... Oh great, Alash is independent. You can come up to here then. Oh, come on. What? Oh, I deleted the whole line. My bad. Up to there. Push up to here. Because the guys coming in from the left can deal with that little chunk. I'll have you assigned to that. And sure, we'll have you attacking. You are now... You are... Yeah. We'll rename this Middle East. Meanwhile, how are we actually doing in Africa? That is a good question. Because we do have a unit. Oh no, we withdrew that unit. So this is all Middle Africa who don't seem to be pushing at all. Which is really helpful. Thanks, guys. Okay, naval battle. We lost one plane. They lost a destroyer and a cruiser. Oh, speaking of which, we need to be making naval stuff. Okay, we are actually researching that right now. Okay, fair enough. Right, that one tank unit. Move here and move there. And just crush them, please. Pretty please, with a cherry on top. Also, between episodes, I did notice that there's a whole bunch of Soviets just stranded over here. Um, actually, you know what? You guys could deal with them really quite nicely. Because I'm going to expect that these guys are completely out of supply and organization, so it should be a very easy matter of just mopping them up. In fact, you guys can do that too here. Uh, don't need all of you. No, hang on. Stop. All of you go that way. With the exception of you two who are going up here. Off you go. Cool. And the two men that are coming here, you're going to end up here. And I'll just deal with all of that stuff and it'll be amazing. Right. Marines, you don't seem to have an objective right now. That would be you guys. Uh, I need you to push up to the... Oh, wow, we're up to there already? Interesting. Just keep on pushing north. Like, your job's going to be get up to Tibet. And then once you're in Tibet, sure, push up to here. And go. Go. Go, go, go. By all means, go. Push. We should be able to chop our way through India without too much effort. Because I'd very much like to come over here and reinforce the Qing Empire. I'm hoping that they can hold out until I arrive. I mean, they're actually doing pretty well defensively. I do ship them a lot of guns, although you're being attacked from behind, which is not very helpful. Hmm. Oh yes, and this is not Taiwan. 
This is Hainan, as was successfully or properly pointed out to me. That's Taiwan. Um, who owns this? Shangqing. Ah, and we're at war with Thailand. Yeah, Qing Empire is in trouble. I would really like to send you some reinforcements, but I wouldn't know where to bring them from. We sank a battleship and two light cruisers. We lost a bunch of planes and two destroyers. That's fine. Um, can I assemble some reinforcements from somewhere? Ah, yes, I can, actually. And this would be helpful. I need you guys to run down to here. New army, new commander. And you are going to be the China army. And hopefully we can use you to hold on to the Qing Empire. How close are the Qing Empire to capitulation? Where are you? Hmm, yeah. It's getting a little bit hairy. You have one more big city down here. That's not actually a very big city. No, that's fine. We might get over there. I don't know. We'll see. Need to wait until those troops that I just sent as reinforcements arrive. I'm going to make you yellow. Like dark yellow. There you go. A very horrible colour, actually. Okay, you guys are all pushing. Finland's pushing back. Whoa, who's this? You've come here and... Bulgaria! Wow, get in Bulgaria. Nice. So this is the benefit of having all the minions. They just swamp stuff with troops. The areas that I can't be bothered to focus on myself. Look at all the men just moving now. This is kind of silly. I kind of wish, like, all these Cheng units... Go home. Fortify over there. Way more important. Oh, hello. We're getting cut off. That's not good. Um... Back off to there, back off to there. I'm not actually retreating here, I'm just backing off. And once you've done that, both of you actually. Oh crap, you're being attacked straight away. Hopefully you won't. Yes, you are, damn. Uh, actually, you have the means to save us. Just drive into there, and that should be job done. Okay, cool. We should be fine. Right, have my new units arrived yet? Right. You're still on the way. You're not far off, though. And then you just need to sail over there, which is going to be through Japanese waters, which is going to be a little bit tricksy. But I now have some free dockyards, so I can build some more ships. Yay! And we are b putting everything into the Pacific right now. Right, so what do we want to build? We have two battleships on... three battleships on the way, and we have some destroyers. You know what? I think some light cruisers would be nice. Class A. No, we're already getting some. No, oh, that's fine. We can just get some more. Is no problem. Justification for conquering Catalonia is finished. Alright then. Off we go. Oh, I didn't invite the minions. Oh, if they merge armies, if they merge wars, then we won't need to. Thailand is getting obliterated here, which is awesome. And we'll see if they're able to... Yeah, they've joined Japan. So we'll see if uh, they're able to resurrect any of France. Ah, Blom and Voss PV-155. Excellent. We are still researching the naval bomber, then we can get the naval bomber carrier version. And that would be awesome. Still 47, you know what? Fine, we'll get that. We might also want to upgrade carriers, actually, thinking about it. You know what? I would prefer to have carriers to you. Let's get the Seidlitz Sa class. And now we will be able to start producing some of those carrier planes. We only need 50. Not a huge amount. It's fine. How's Ching doing? 
need our reinforcements over there soon, and then I just noticed there's a big naval battle going on too. Okay, so once you guys have arrived, I would very much like for you to sail in to Hena, seeing as we have a hold there. So what's involved in this fight right now? It's my very nearly dead carrier. Light cruisers. In fact, it looks like we are running away. We were, I think. We lost a heavy cruiser. Con Japanese convoys, someone's convoys. We lost another heavy cruiser. Ah, this was a big fight. They lost 12 destroyers, 3 light cruisers and a convoy. We lost a battle cruiser, 2 destroyers and a heavy cruiser. And some aircraft. Yeah, we are losing a lot of aircraft right now. So we need to find a way of replacing those. Post haste. But we're working on it. 71 days until we get that and then we can upgrade it to the uh, carrier version, which should take a lot less time. There are some birds going absolutely nuts outside my window right now. Like squawking away like crazy things. Alright, um, looks like we are still pushing pretty successfully. Oh wow, that tank line is humongous. Why are you that big? Your job's down there. So why are you positioned all the way up to here? You shouldn't be. You should be up to there. Go. I'm wasting three tanks on this. Come on, guys. You're better than that. Alright, so we've swept up there. You guys are indeed pushing up through here. Lovely. Marines are also pushing. Everyone is pushing, pushing, pushing. Sweet. I don't know if we're going to get here in time. Damn, they sunk our carrier. Are you not set to repair? What fleet is that? Is that the Pacific fleet? Pretty sure it is. Yes, it is. Oh, for goodness sake. Why do these just get randomly changed? Split up and repair if you sodding well need to. Has that been stopping them splitting off? Yes, I assume so. So we lost one of our carriers for no sodding reason. Fantastic! Yay! You did rubbish. Oh no, that's the Singapore fleet. Hold up, wrong fleet. Singapore. Yeah, you're also turned off. Why? You're not. You're not. Detached fleets I don't care about. You're fine, although you're not set to dis uh, detach, although you are tiny, so I kind of doubt that you will need to. India fleet, you're fine. Mediterranean, you're fine. Pacific, you're now fine. Red Sea, fine. Singapore, fine. And then submarines, fine. What the hell was it with those two fleets? Jeez. Is it because I've lost the port? Where are they based? You're based in Provence. Why are you based in Provence? That's stupid. Now it would be really nice if on this screen it highlighted your friendly ports. Like what? How? How? What? How, how can I tell where I can actually go? I guess it's these icons. Naval Base 3, Naval Base 1. Because we did lose Singapore port eventually, unfortunately. So I guess we base you out of here, Sumatra. And that's probably also going to affect the Pacific Fleet. Currently based out of Bismarck. No, Bismarck's actually over here. So all of the ships I'm currently building, I actually want in the Singapore Fleet. That seems to be one that's getting targeted, not Pacific. You're going to Singapore. 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 In fact, we're going to make you the last one. No, we're not. I was going to switch to a carrier, but I just remembered we're actually researching the new carrier, so that can wait. Singapore, 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 and you're just stockpiling. Okay, cool. 
Onwards. And then we lost two armoured cruisers. Ah, unnecessary losses. Don't like them. Okay, everyone's still pushing through. We're smashing our way through the Soviets. Finland seems to be defending there. Garrison forces are doing fine. Actually, speaking of garrison forces, we need to be garrisoning the uh, Soviet Union. The stuff that we take. And I think... Does that include... Yeah, it probably does include all of this, because technically they've capitulated. I'll probably need to redo the air power stuff as well. I'll do that in a bit. Okay, stitching all of this together. This is going to be massively increasing the number of units you need, but you have tons. You should be absolutely fine. I think I would like to give you a commander, though. Seeing as you may actually be fighting now in Spain. And you are, in fact, fighting. And not doing horribly, either. Okay, a bunch of you are leaving, but... The AI has noticed that there is a big threat here and has actually consolidated the uh, police forces to fight back. That's good. They didn't just leave them in random locations. Any surplus troops they've sent down here. We just took Toulouse back. I can't believe we're using cavalry. Like, really weak cavalry units down here. It's hilarious. Oh, we're running actually a bit low on manpower, so it's probably not quite that hilarious. Speaking of manpower, we seem to have a lot of units that are not assigned. Yes, we do. Let's add these to the garrison force. In fact, no. We're going to add this to the uh, Spanish front. Spanish front. Yeah, technically it's the German theatre. We need another commander. Who is to be a field marshal. Emil Storm. Great name. Um, we'll have you down here and there. And we'll have you going like go. Alright, reinforcements are on their way. It might take them a while to get there, though. And then once this is done, I'll just merge you in with the garrison force, I think. Alright, you guys are all pushing. Ching's not doing well. My reinforcements arriving yet? No. There's a lot of Japanese ships down there. Where are my reinforcements right now? Is this them? Yes. Alright, so they are miles off still. Great. Sinking more of their convoys. And, wow, huge engagement against the uh, Spanish. They lost two light cruisers and 17 destroyers. We lost nothing. Huzzah. <laughs> they lost two battleships and three light cruisers. We lost nothing. So from this, I'm concluding that the Spanish fleet is ancient. Like, World War I ancient. They lost six destroyers. Good. We lost a destroyer. Yeah, this fleet is definitely the strongest. We absolutely need to reinforce that Singapore Navy. And it's happening. It's fine. I really hope you don't give up. Ching Empire, you're on the verge of doing it. I don't think our troops are going to get there in time. I mean, we'll just retake it as soon as we've pushed all the way across here, but it will take a while. It will definitely take a while. You guys are still pushing. In fact, you could probably... ...do with some new orders soon. Let's say that you're going up to here. And go. Uh, tanks? Damn. Wrong tanks. These tanks. You guys are going to go to... Actually, you can overlap with the marines. That's totally fine. And attack that. I think you guys are still pretty well positioned. Lots of troops flooding in. You guys are still pushing north. You're pushing across there. 
Did we hold the port? We did hold the port. Okay. We're just going to stay there and keep holding that port. Battle fleet concentration. That's helpful. Wow, six destroyers for one destroyer. Nice. That was a better trade. All right. Sortie efficiency and carrier organization. Let's do that. What are we doing on the aircraft? 46 days. Another naval battle. We sank three heavy cruisers. We lost two submarines. Pretty good trade, I would say. Convoys. Turkestan Carnate has capitulated. Five convoys. Ouch. That's good. Alright, so you can just keep on pushing. Marvellous. And we can lower this subject autonomy. Who's not yours? Hungary. Egypt. No, it's probably actually just a shortage in political power. Cool. Onwards. So Japan should be looking at this front going, okay, how long have we got to live? <laughs> how long until they're on our borders? So I think, how many troops does Soviet actually have left? You are on limited conscription. You still have 230 divisions. You have a lot of aircraft. Meanwhile, Japan has... 350. You're on service by requirement. You also have a lot of aircraft. So, speaking of aircraft, we are still dominating them in the air. But I think I'm going to grab all of you guys and we're going to stick you in the Arctic. Like so. Like, this is the most inefficient use of aircraft in the history of aircraft. But I don't care. It's getting the job done. Um, India. Who's flying aircraft down here? Not very many. Virtually none there. Himalayas, virtually none. So where's the Japanese Air Force? Up there. There's a few here. Yeah, there's a few out in the oceans. This is why we need our carriers to become more effective. Okay, we are losing a lot. Oh no, we're being attacked by aircraft over here, but we're not actually losing any. So, I think what this is saying then is that we need to start deploying some aircraft in these areas. Delhi. Let's put 200 fighters here on air superiority. Peshawar, we'll put heavy fighters, and yes, I know we have way better, in fact, these are terrible fighters, why am I even doing that? We have no fighter threes. Apparently not. Alright, we'll do these guys. And then, screw it, do another 200 here, an anti bomber interception and here we will have heavy fighters if I can find them easily enough where are you there we are heavy fighters bees I'll go 400 actually you know what you can go on intercept you can go on air superiority better use of your time all right cool And then here, Bombay, I think I would like another 400. Which can be on both. Japan offers peace. After a series of crushing land and naval defeats, our forces were completely pushed from Asian theatre. Victorious Empire of the Rising Sun, achieving all its goals, have offered us a peace treaty, in which we will recognise all territorial gain achieved by Japan and withdraw all remaining forces from Asia. <laughs> yeah. Nice try, Japan. Nice try. The only reason I haven't beaten you yet is because Russia is in the way. And I don't mean the Russian army, I mean literally Russia. Downfall and stability. That did cost us a lot. Oh well. We'll recover it soon enough. 
Gain focus minus one. What's that from? Oh, because we're doing this. Uh, in that case, let's stop doing this and regenerate our points more quickly. That's much better. Okay, cool. So where's my reinforcements? There they are. Alright, these are the dangerous waters now. We have a tiny bit of Qing Empire left there, which we need to try and save. I'm just going to keep an eye on them, and then once they arrive, I think we're going to call it at that point. Although I would like to send some more reinforcements over if we can. We can. Uh, tanks? Yeah, actually. I think that would be totally fine. So those tanks we're going to send double time down to there and then they should be able to sail off from there. Alright, good. Have you arrived? No. On the way though. We're almost there. We're sinking a whole load of convoys coming through this area. Which makes me very happy. Meanwhile, lost a destroyer, lost a destroyer. We lost a destroyer. They lost a battlecruiser and a destroyer. This is the Pacific Fleet. No, this is the Australian Fleet. Which is actually losing right now. Oh yeah, they are losing a lot of ships. But as we secure more and more of this stuff, it will get better. We just sank a heavy cruiser. That's good. Have we landed? Okay, we're here. We've arrived. Fantastic. Okay, so with that done, we are going to advance to here. Not you, you're staying in Hainan. And then once we have made our landing here, I'm going to start a front up. We're going to assign everyone to that front. And then we are going to crush. And this is the China Theatre. That's right, Germany's here. You shouldn't have taken my Chinese territories. That was a mistake. And I now intend to make you pay for it. Okay, manpower is becoming an issue. I mean, we do have almost a million people in deployed in the sky, so we could just get rid of a bunch of aircraft and that would resolve our immediate manpower issues, but we are losing a lot. But we are also at war with the world. And thanks to the sheer number of puppets and things that we have, we should be able to put up a pretty good fight. Like, the puppet manpower will uh, take a large chunk of the, uh, the pressure off of us. Speaking of which, how are the puppets doing? I mean, obviously we account for 85%. Uh, you guys won Middle Africa 6%. Yeah, I'm not surprised by that. Okay, that's fine. Okay, we are crossing over. And we do have an air base here. With a bunch of aircraft just standing by. Oh, wait. Air. Those are carriers. Wait, these are carrier planes. Uh, that was weird. Um, okay, we've, we've done it. We're in. New front, right there. All of you will be attached to said front. And your front's orders are quite simple. Take this river. I mean, actually the whole river. Up to here. And the more of that you take, the better. Okay, so where are the rest of your units, the tanks? No, 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 no. Go to Thessaloniki and then we'll sail. This is just taking even longer. 
Silly. Right, you stay here. You now sail to here. There we go. All right, and with that, I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. If you're enjoying this series, then please do hit that like button. If you haven't done so already, then do consider subscribing. If you have any tips or advice for me, let me know in the comments. Thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Goodbye.